Hey laser folks, are you trying to measure the average power of a laser source, a laser beam, using a laser power detector and wondering what is, your, what is the difference between the noise equivalent power, the specification of the detector, and the actual minimum measurable power that you can do, that you can reach? Let's find out! Welcome back, I'm Fel here from Gentech EO, your partners for accuracy. A short answer to this question is that the noise equivalent power or NEP of a laser power detector, that's a measurable quantity, that's a specification that quantifies the sensitivity of the detector or the ability to measure low, while the minimum measurable power on the other hand will depend on your tolerance to error in your application. So let me, let me give you an example. The noise equivalent power of a laser power detector can be defined as the amount of laser optical power that must be input to the detector in order to produce the same output signal as its internal circuits. In other words, if one does not put any optical power to the detector, you can actually measure the NEP by acquiring the random signal that it generates. And for a Gentech EO power detector, it is expressed in watts and it's measured using the peak-to-peak -peak definition. An example with the disk-based power detector, the UP19K15S H5D0. The NEP with that one is specified at 1 milliwatt, meaning that if the detector is put on a stand with a protective cover in front of it and placed in a stable environment, in your lab, in your facility, the output signal read with a Gentech EO meter should oscillate between the maximum values of minus one milliwatt and plus one milliwatt, assuming the zero offset was done properly. So this random variation around the central value, that's the noise equivalent power, the NEP. Now the minimum measurable power, on the other hand, it's not a physical property that you can measure and that will vary. Uh, it can be defined by the user, by the customer, depending on the application, according to the requirements of the experiments in terms of measuring the signal, in terms of measured signal and error. The signal to noise ratio, or SNR, defines this and it is measured at the optical signal divided by the NEP of the power detector used in order to maximize precision and accuracy for your application. Sometimes you will require very high SNR, 1000 over 1, for example, or above, while some other applications only required your general idea of the optical power in use in, in the setup. Now, we'll usually accept a relatively low SNR, 10 over 1, for example. The choice of the appropriate power detector for a given application will therefore depend on the minimum required signal-to-noise ratio, SNR. An example, if you uh, want to measure a 1 milliwatt laser power level, a signal, with an SNR greater than 1000 over 1, then you will require a power detector with an NEP equal or lower to 1 microwatt. And we can provide that to you guys, happy to help to define exactly what is required to benefit the most from your laser processes and application. So stay in touch with us, contact us, we'll be happy to help figure out what's the best measurement solution. Subscribe to the channel, thank you for watching.